Our today's video on American Vintage Tales is dedicated to honoring 15 notable actors who died recently in 2024. Before we begin, we want to acknowledge the impact these individuals may have had on your life. If their work or their stories resonated with you, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect. Glennis Johns, the British actress known for her spirited role as Mrs. Winifred Banks in Mary Poppins, passed away at the age of 100. She died of natural causes at an assisted living facility in Los Angeles on January 4th, 2024. Glennis Margaret Payne Johns graced both stage and screen, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Born in Pretoria, South Africa, she was the daughter of Welsh actor Mervyn Johns. Renowned for her breathy, husky voice, Glennis sang songs written specifically for her. In Disney's Mary Poppins, 1964, she played Winifred Banks and sang Sister Suffragette. On Broadway, she originated the role of Desiree Armfelt in A Little Night Music, 1973, winning a Tony Award and Drama Desk Award for her rendition of Send in the Clowns. Glennis Johns, a true luminary, continues to inspire generations. David Soul, born David Richard Solberg on August 28, 1943, was an American-British actor and singer. His career spanned five decades, and he achieved fame for portraying Detective Kenneth Hutch Hutchinson in the iconic American television series Starsky and Hutch from 1975 to 1979. Besides his acting roles, Soul found success as a singer. Topping the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1977, with the hit single, Don't Give Up On Us, which also reached number one in the UK and Canada. He continued to make cameo appearances in British TV shows and enjoyed renewed success on the West End stage in the 1990s. Sadly, David Soul passed away on January 4th, 2024, at the age of 80. Chita Rivera, born Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero on January 23rd, 1933, was an accomplished American actress, singer, and dancer. Her remarkable career spanned over seven decades, leaving an indelible mark on Broadway and beyond. Rivera made her Broadway debut as a dancer in Guys and Dolls, 1950, marking the beginning of her illustrious stage career. Bob Fosse, the visionary choreographer who truly ignited her potential. Their collaboration birthed iconic roles, the sassy Velma Kelly in Chicago, the vulnerable Aurora in Kiss of the Spider Woman, the indomitable Anna in The Rink. Each character, a testament to Cheetah's versatility. She could embody sensuality and vulnerability, comedic timing and dramatic depth, all with a single captivating movement. But Cheetah's legacy transcends dazzling footwork. She defied limitations. A near career ending injury couldn't stop her. Age became a badge of honor, not a barrier, as she continued to command stages well into her 80s. She became an inspiration, not just for dancers, but for anyone chasing a dream. According to a statement released by her daughter, Lisa Mordente, Rivera died in New York after a brief illness at the age of 91. The film and television world lost a familiar face with the passing of actress Ann Whitfield. Whitfield's career spanned across various mediums, from old-time radio to the silver screen. Starting young, she charmed audiences with her voice in shows like One Man's Family and Our Miss Brooks. Moviegoers might recognize her from the beloved holiday classic White Christmas. Whitfield also graced television screens in popular series like Gunsmoke. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 85 on February 15, 2024, after an incident near her home in Burien, Washington. The music world mourns the loss of Shifty Shellshock, the frontman of the rap rock band Crazy Town. Shellshock, whose real name was Seth Benzer, passed away unexpectedly at his Los Angeles home at the age of 49. While the official cause of death hasn't been released by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner, Shifty Shellshock's manager did share that Benzer died from an accidental drug overdose. Shifty Shellshock's energetic raps and stage presence were a defining part of Crazy Town sound, particularly on their hit song, Butterfly. His legacy will live on through Crazy Town's music, and he'll be remembered by fans for his contributions to the music scene. 
The legendary actor Donald Sutherland passed away at the age of 88 in Miami. Sutherland's career spanned over six decades, leaving an undeniable mark on cinema. He captivated audiences with his versatility, taking on both charming and complex characters. Moviegoers will undoubtedly recognize him from iconic films like The Hunger Games, where he portrayed the chilling President Snow, and the heartbreaking drama Ordinary People. Sutherland's son, Kiefer, confirmed the news on social media, remembering his father as someone who loved what he did and did what he loved. Donald Sutherland's legacy as a masterful actor will continue to inspire filmmakers and movie lovers for generations to come. Bill Cobbs, the beloved actor known for his warm presence and remarkable talent, has left us at the age of 90. His career spanned decades, gracing both the big and small screens with his unforgettable performances. Cobbs was a versatile artist, seamlessly transitioning between drama, comedy, and everything in between. His role as Reginald in Night at the Museum, 2006, endeared him to audiences of all ages. With a twinkle in his eye, he brought historical figures to life, making us believe in the magic of museums. But it was his portrayal of Whitney Houston's loyal chauffeur in The Bodyguard, 1992, that truly showcased his depth. Cobbs infused the character with wisdom, compassion, and quiet strength, a testament to his craft. As we bid farewell to this cinematic legend, we remember Bill Cobbs not only for his roles, but also for the kindness he radiated off screen. His legacy lives on, etched in the hearts of those who laughed, cried, and marveled at his performances. Rest in peace, Bill Cobbs. Your light will continue to shine through the films you graced. Carl Weathers was a true titan of entertainment, leaving behind a remarkable legacy that spanned both sports and acting. Weathers' journey began on the gridiron. A star athlete at San Diego State University, he even played professionally for a short time in the NFL and CFL, but his sights were set on a different kind of stage. Transitioning into acting, he carved out a unique space for himself. His breakout role came in 1976 with the legendary boxing film Rocky. Weathers brought Apollo Creed Rocky Balboa's flamboyant rival to life with a captivating blend of charisma and intensity. He reprised the role in three sequels, forever etching Apollo Creed in the annals of film history. Weathers wasn't confined to boxing movies. He showcased his versatility in action films like Predator, 1987, comedies like Happy Gilmore, 1996, and even lent his voice to animated features like the Toy Story franchise. He also had memorable roles in television series like Street Justice and a hilarious turn as a fictionalized version of himself in Arrested Development. Weathers' influence extended beyond acting. He was a director, a philanthropist involved with the Big Brothers Association and the U.S. Olympic Committee, and an inspiration to aspiring actors, especially Black actors, who saw him break barriers in Hollywood. The Golden Age of Hollywood mourns the loss of legendary actress Barbara Rush. Miss Rush, known for her captivating performances in sci-fi classics like It Came From Outer Space and the iconic soap opera Peyton Place, passed away peacefully at her home on Easter Sunday at the age of 97. Her daughter, Claudia Cowan, shared the news, highlighting how fitting it was that her mother passed on a day of such significance. Rush's career spanned over seven decades, captivating audiences with her talent and grace. She rose to fame in the 1950s, earning a Golden Globe Award for her role in It Came From Outer Space. But her career extended far beyond that, including memorable performances in films like The Young Philadelphians and television shows like Seventh Heaven. Barbara Rush will be remembered as a true Hollywood legend whose legacy will continue to inspire future generations of actresses. The world of science fiction lost a talented act the passing of Kenneth Mitchell. Mitchell, best known for his portrayal of various Klingon characters on Star Trek Discovery, died at the age of 49 after a courageous five-year battle with ALS, 
also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Mitchell's family announced the news on social media, remembering him as a beloved father, husband, brother, and friend who faced his challenges with grace and a commitment to living life to the fullest. While Trekkies will recognize him as Cole, Kolshaw, and Tenovic, Mitchell's career spanned across film and television. The showrunners of Star Trek Discovery incorporated Mitchell's wheelchair into the storyline, making him a Klingon with a hover chair due to a genetic condition. This dedication to inclusion showcased Mitchell's talent and the show's commitment to diverse representation. Kenneth Mitchell's legacy will live on through his performances and he will be remembered for his contribution to the vast Star Trek universe. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones during this difficult time. The golfing world is in mourning today after the tragic loss of professional golfer Grayson Murray. At just 30 years old, Murray's parents confirmed his death as suicide through a statement released by the PGA Tour. Murray was a talented athlete who battled back after a difficult period in his career, even winning the Sony Open in Hawaii earlier this year. Despite his success, Murray's parents revealed he was struggling with mental health challenges. His story is a heartbreaking reminder of the silent battles many face. Our thoughts are with Murray's family and friends during this difficult time. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, please reach out for help. You are not alone. Richard Lewis, a renowned comedian and actor known for his role in Curb Your Enthusiasm, has passed away at the age of 76 after suffering a heart attack. His sharp wit and unique style made him a standout in the world of comedy. On Curb Your Enthusiasm, Lewis played a fictionalized version of himself, bringing laughter to millions with his neurotic and self-deprecating humor. His career spanned decades, during which he became a beloved figure in both stand-up comedy and television. Lewis was celebrated not only for his comedic talent, but also for his ability to connect with audiences on a personal level. He was a frequent guest on late night talk shows where his quick humor and relatable anecdotes made him a favorite. Beyond Curb Your Enthusiasm, Lewis had roles in various TV shows and movies, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His contributions to comedy were significant, influencing many comedians who followed in his footsteps. The entertainment world mourns the loss of Richard Lewis, a true comedic genius. Rest in peace, Richard Lewis. Your legacy of laughter will continue to bring joy to many. The country music world mourns the loss of a true legend with the passing of Toby Keith. Keith, known for his chart-topping hits like Red Solo Cup and Should Have Been a Cowboy, died at the age of 62 after a courageous battle with stomach cancer. Diagnosed in late 2021, Keith underwent chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, but sadly succumbed to the illness on February 5, 2024, surrounded by his family in Oklahoma. Keith was a true American original, crafting anthems that celebrated patriotism, working-class life, and everyday experiences. His songs resonated deeply with millions of fans, turning concerts into massive sing-alongs. Beyond his music, he was known for his philanthropy and unwavering support for U.S. troops. Toby Keith's legacy will continue to inspire future generations of country music artists, and his music will undoubtedly remain a staple at barbecues and celebrations for years to come. The documentary filmmaking world lost a visionary the passing of Morgan Spurlock. Spurlock, best known for his Oscar-nominated film Super Size Me, died at the age of 53 in New York from complications of cancer. His brother Craig confirmed the news and spoke about Morgan's immense creativity and generosity. Through his films, Spurlock challenged viewers to confront societal issues, particularly in the realm of food and consumerism. Super Size Me, where he documented the health effects of eating nothing but McDonald's for a month, remains a groundbreaking and thought-provoking work. Morgan Spurlock's legacy extends beyond a single film. His dedication to social commentary through the lens of documentary filmmaking will continue to inspire future generations. The world of television lost a rising star the passing of actor Chance Perdomo. Perdomo, known for his captivating performances in shows like Gen Vi 
and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, tragically died at the age of 27 in a motorcycle accident. While traveling through upstate New York on his way to filming, Perdomo was involved in a single vehicle accident. Perdomo's talent and charisma shone through on screen, leaving a lasting impression on fans. His portrayal of the warlock Ambrose Spellman in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and the mysterious Andre Anderson in Gen 5 showcased his range and potential. The news of his passing leaves a void in the entertainment industry. Our thoughts are with Perdomo's family and loved ones during this difficult time. Soap opera fans are mourning the tragic loss of actor Johnny Wachter. Wachter, who played the beloved character of Brando Corbin on General Hospital, died at the young age of 37 after a fatal shooting in Los Angeles. Police reports indicate the shooting occurred near his car and the investigation is ongoing. Wachter's charisma and talent made him a standout on General Hospital and his death leaves a void for fans and colleagues alike. He will be deeply missed. The entertainment world remembers veteran actress Jennifer Leak, who passed away at her home in Florida at the age of 76. Leak's career stretched across film and television, but she's perhaps best remembered for her role as Colleen North in the heartwarming family comedy, Yours, Mine, and Ours, alongside Lucille Ball and Henry Fonda. Leek battled progressive supernuclear palsy for the last seven years of her life, a rare neurological disorder. Our thoughts are with her family and friends during this difficult time. Robin Bernard, an actress who graced our screens from the 1980s to the early 2000s, passed away earlier this year. Though the details surrounding her death remain private, her contributions to television deserve our recognition. Many will remember her for her portrayal of Terry Brock on the long-running soap opera General Hospital. But her career spanned beyond that, with appearances in shows like Simon and & Simon and Tour of Duty. Bernard's talent and dedication to her craft enriched the entertainment landscape, and her memory will live on in the hearts of those she touched. The entertainment world lost a comedic giant with the passing of actor Dabney Coleman at the age of 92. Coleman's career spanned over six decades, and he was known for his signature portrayal of the grumpy yet hilarious boss or authority figure. His sharp wit and comedic timing left audiences in stitches in films like 9 to 5 Inches and Tootsie. While he often played the villain, his daughter's statement following his death perfectly captured his essence. A teacher, a hero, and a king, his spirit will shine through his work, his loved ones, and his legacy eternally. Dabney Coleman's comedic legacy will continue to bring laughter for generations to come. The music world mourns the loss of Charlie Collin, a founding member of the iconic pop rock band Train. Collin passed away unexpectedly at the age of 58. While house-sitting for a friend in Belgium, he tragically slipped and fell in the shower. Collin's smooth bass lines and creative contributions were a cornerstone of Train sound, driving hits like Drops of Jupiter and Meet Virginia. Beyond his musical talent, his bandmates remembered him as the sweetest guy with a contagious charm. Charlie Collins' legacy will live on through Train's enduring music, and he'll be remembered by fans for his role in creating the soundtrack to countless lives. Chris Gauthier, a beloved actor known for his roles in Once Upon a Time, Eureka, and Smallville, has passed away at the age of 48 after a brief illness. He brought depth and charm to his characters, leaving a lasting impact on fans and colleagues alike. In Once Upon a Time, he played Smee with a unique blend of humor and heart. In Eureka, he was the lovable cafe owner Vincent, a staple of the show. His roles in Smallville showcased his versatility as an actor. Gautier was also known for his kindness and professionalism on set. His contributions to television were significant and unforgettable. Colleagues spoke highly of his positive attitude and the joy he brought to work. His passing is a profound loss to the entertainment world, but his performances will continue to inspire. Rest in peace, Chris Gauthier. Your memory lives on. Adam Canto, a name synonymous with captivating performances 
and a vibrant spirit left us too soon on January 8th, 2024, at the age of 42. Though his life was tragically cut short by appendiceal cancer, a battle he fought privately, his legacy continues to inspire. Born in Mexico and raised in Texas, Adon's artistic journey began with music. He wrote and produced songs before his acting career took flight. His versatility shone through in roles like the mutant Sunspot in X-Men Days of Future Past and the determined FBI agent Joel Machado in Designated Survivor. But it was the charismatic villain Alec Delgado in The Cleaning Lady that showcased his depth as an actor. Aden was a singer, a director, and a family man. He leaves behind his wife, Stephanie, and their two young children. He will be deeply missed, but his performances will continue to move and inspire for years to come. Thank you for joining us in our series, Who Died Today, America.